Hey everybody, welcome back to more Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. I'm the only Pathman 4, this is a slice of gaming. Last time we left off, I made a promise. We're gonna go right into the first underground level of the game. So you guys ready for caves? Not only is it a cave, but it's a cave of chomp rock. So something that's a good thing to note is that once you've stopped playing the game and you restart it again, any eggs you've had in previous levels are now gone. So as you can see, I'm eggless sadness. So I'm going to come back for a secret that's hidden right under our noses here as soon as we get some eggs to access said secret. So here is finally a chomp rock right off the bat in this cave here to show that it is indeed the cave of the chomp rock. So Mr. Tutorial Face is all like, oh, I want to teach you about about ground pounds. And I'm like, buddy, I already know all there is to know about this game and about ground pounding because we did that in the previous level. We are so far ahead of you, Tutorial Face, that it is not even funny. Like, come on. Tutorial Face, please. We don't even need you anymore, but we'll probably see what you're talking about in the next little area here. But for now, let's go all the way back now that I've got some eggies. So with some eggs, I can get some secret clouds right at the beginning here. Hello, sir. Did you miss us? I think you did because you are here to greet us so early in this lovely morning. There we go. So sometimes you have to hit the wall a little bit to see that secret cloud and... It sort of flashes in and out of existence. I'm not sure if it's just the, the game or what have you, or whatever may be the issue. I wonder if I can get more star babies from this box since I left and come, came back. Sadness, there's nothing inside. However, you guys get to come back. How unfair. Okay, so these clamp things are actually little baby piranha plants, which is kind of weird. I don't know. This is the first game to kind of like... Hey, guess what? Here is piranha plant lore for everybody. Also, new thing, there's a door that needs a key, so we'll go find one in a few minutes here. But first, time for a flower on both sides here. You can get out of my way. It's clearly a shy guy with a piece of uh, blanket over your face and holes cut out. It's like a terrible Halloween costume. Oh yeah, something I've been meaning to mention is if there's any enemies around this uh, midway point, let's spit them out here, that was a total failure. I was going to show that off physically, but I decided to go underneath the mid- or the mid-ring. But anyways, any enemies around the mid-ring will turn into star babies as well, so in case you need more star babies, there's a chance to get more. Whoa! I was just going to be afraid that that was going to push me right into terrible things and I was going to be sad forever. Okay, so let's find ourselves a key here. We got a door, it needs a key, we got fluffies that somehow become clams later on and then somehow birth into piranha plants. Nobody knows. Nobody knows these things or why these things happen, but only Nintendo knows. It kind of is interesting, I want to know how Nintendo came about the idea for like enemy things. Like, So anyways, this is a clam that starts out as a fuzzy and then somehow becomes a piranha plant and that's how he's made. Oh, I can't reach that with tongue? Okay. There's a quote for everybody today. So now that we've got a key, let's go play a terrible minigame. I hate this minigame and I pr probably fail at it. Forewarning. Oh, throwing balloons. <sighs> so you have to key in the sequence before it pops on you. If you win, you get an amazing one-up. So you want to know how to cheat at this game? We're just going to hold on to this forever until it gets real big gonna pass it over to him like a dick, and then that way, he loses, we win. Everything's gonna be great. Hopefully this doesn't go immediately back in my face, as this thing is getting rather large and charred. There we go. Into your face! Blow up! Blow up! Yes! Oh, yes. Look at this. One one up for us. In your face, bandit. Anyways. I didn't fail. Hooray! We have confidence after all. I almost ran into that thing though, which would have been fun, I guess. Let's eat this fuzzy. So strangely enough, fuzzies don't become eggs, but the clams do. Now we know a little bit more about our Super Mario World uh, lore, I guess. I'd be very interested to know if there is a person out there who is like so into the backstory of Super Mario World that was like, no, no, in 
this game, it's canon that it's made canon that the clams are piranhas and that they become that they start off as fuzz. It's like wow. So people have too much time on their hands, probably. So we can, you know, sit around and do this, or we can do things the easy way and surprise we run right into a secret cloud that was hidden in there. That's what I was going for. We could also bash into this thing for ever and ever, but again, let's do things the easy way and just hit it with an egg and move on with our lives. But doing things the easy way is never fun. It's never a fun thing. I know that's there. I know it's there. Don't worry. I see it. We're just going to get some things out of the way so we can go down to the secret area where we get money. Dollar, dollar, dollar bills. Or dollar coins, I suppose. Either way, we can load up on money and... Ooh, there we go. Right on cue. I was just about to say, maybe we'll get a free life out of it. Yes, we do. It's kind of hard to grab those last three coins on either end without falling and being sad about failing. But that's okay. We managed to clean sweep the area anyways. So let's get out of here. Unfortunately, you can't go back in there and get more coins, which would have been great, except totally 100% an exploit, but you know. You know. Alright, let's... Ugh! I thought I wasn't going to make it up there. That's all the coins, and this should be the last flower. And we've got all the star babies, so let's not run into anything terrible as we move on to the last section. So this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky here. Because as you can see, oh no, this game is starting to uh, punish us for those that want to like run around and just, you know, rush right to the ending. Be like, hey gamers, you're going to run into this thing if you run too fast. This one too. Oh, how generous of you. Thank you for that free life that I totally didn't need. So sometimes it's good to just take your time. Especially at the end, because you never know what this game's going to throw at you. Oh yeah, also, something I can show off later is that I had to restart the game so I could catch up again because for some reason I loaded the file back up and this stage was beaten. It's like, I don't remember doing this, but clearly I did and not recorded it. But anyways, I was able to get some items in the previous two stages, but first, more incitingly, is going to be our first castle. You know what's in the castle? Mini Boss, And his name is Bert the Bashful, and he has a fort. So, weird thing about this game that I've kind of noticed is that the Mario series has been pretty good with keeping the same sort of enemies around since, like, the very beginning. You know, Goobas are around. They're still in this game. They haven't happened yet for whatever reason. Koopas are still in this game. They're way later. Obviously, Shy Guys, you know. Same Mario stable enemies, and then suddenly you get Bert the Bashful and his friend jumping around here and they are never seen or heard from ever again. It's just really weird. Also, the, I'll discuss this a little bit more later, but this game has a really, really weird sense of humor. Like, just the weird way that things are said and, I don't know, acted, I suppose, in this game is just really, it's really different from the series, I find. I suppose you are paying as Yoshi and not as Mario, I, I guess, which kind of explains some of it, but still. Speaking of nostalgia, here's something that's a callback from the old games, skipping the entire level because of a secret that's pretty obvious. However, unlike other Mario games, if you skip past everything, you end up missing stuff. I mean, pff, nobody cares in the old Mario games, so there's nothing to really collect or to do, but still. I mean, in this one, it's all about the collection. You don't have to collect everything, but pff, there's no fun in not trying to collect it all, right? It just makes things more exciting. Let's get out of here. And so we avoid another death trap that's very obvious because of the fact that it has four boards instead of three. Okay, so let's kill you for even more items. Not items, but star babies. And then without his friend, this guy goes like nuts. He's like, dude, I do not appreciate you stomping on my friend. And to be fair, I wouldn't either. I guess um, in another game that has the same sort of enemies as this one would be Tetris Attack, I guess, if you count that, but I don't know. 
I don't know if that was supposed to be a seagull or whatever, but... By the way, you can catch an old walkthrough of that on the Naked Gaming YouTube channel, which is still kind of going. Plug. Shameless plug for people. Also, one of the most important characters are going to be revealed. There he is. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. So cute. Little Blarg. I love Blarg. Blarg is great. Look at him. Oh. There's a much older version of him that'll appear a little bit later in the stage. Well, not older, but larger. Therefore, older, I guess. That makes some sense. Got to get more of a running start without having him run into us. Oh, I could just do that, too. I could just do things the easy way and the things that were meant to be done. But pff, where's the fun in that? Doing things the way they were meant to be done. Pff, whatever. Okay, so let's Ferris wheel our way to get some red coins. And we'll eat you, even though that key is going to be replacing one of our eggs. Oh yeah, that's something I never mentioned, is when you get a key, it replaces uh, the last egg in your little, I guess, clutch? I don't know. It's either the first egg or the last egg, I can't remember. I think it was the first egg in that case. <gasps> Look, it's Big Blarg! I can lick your eye. For some reason, Yoshi doesn't do the ooh thing that he does whenever he tries to eat things that he can't eat with Blark, so I guess maybe he can eat it? If he's cut up into little pieces, I mean, what? Okay, so... Next little area, we have lots of uh, more Bert the Bashfuls. Oh yeah, I should probably not have spoiled the boss. I mean, nobody else really matches the profile of a Bert and a Bashful other than that thing, so... Oh no, there's a room full of piranhas. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, sometimes this game has weird, like, defeat all the things in a room to get a, a flower. For whatever reason, so... That's, that's something that's different too. And then things have died off screen, which is fine. Look, extra star, baby. For no reason. Let's load up on eggs before we go into the red door. The red door being from the same the same door that's in Super Mario World, except much fatter for Yoshi's fat face. What's up, Bert the Bashful? Now here's what I mean by weird writing. So you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby. Think get a load of this. Why Kamek would ever call Yoshi baby, I don't know. It's weird. It's it's strange. That's all I could say. Oh, hello, Bert the Bashful. Here we go, boss battle. Now, this is going to be the most intense fight you'll have ever seen. Like, check it. This thing is super threatening, super dangerous, and you know what the best way to kill it is? By making its pants fall off. That's right. As you can see, very slowly but surely, its pants are being very, very slowly coming off. So, again, really weird sense of humor for this game. That's never really seen, I find, in other Mario games. Like, you're not talking about people's pants falling down in, like, Paper Mario, at least. Not that I know of, I mean, that would be surprised. And now his pants are completely off. And the flower down there is like, I'm about to throw up the thing, but now I can't. Okay, so first mini-boss. That was a thing that happened, I suppose. In celebration, we get another 100 points. Good stuff. Alright, so that's that for our first castle. What do we got next? Some platform in action, some side scrolling fun. Let's check it out. Hop, hop, donut lifts. Oh, yeah, side scrolling action. Sup, tutorial face. This is a very, there's a very dangerous donut lift in this stage. They will fall shortly after you stand on them, step lightly. Ugh, oh, whatever. I like to imagine tutorial phase as like being real tired with like Yoshi's garbage. Like, oh, do I have to explain everything to you? Like, jeez, jeez, you should know how to play video games, especially Donut Lifts. They've been around since Mario World. And of course, it's always fun when you move too far past the um, actual stage. So now you just have to wait till things happen. Time to take the Ferris wheel very, very slowly. Because there are secrets. Sup? Secret down there. Ugh. 
There, we can squeeze through. Here. Oh no, it's like we were so close to running out of stage there for a minute. And of course, sometimes you can see that next enemy on screen here too. I'm going to eat you, Amazy Daisy. We're going to fight you in a future Paper Mario playthrough, but... You know, that's for that's for future pie to upload. Is there anything in the secrets down here? I saw the face you were making. Crazy Daisy or Maisy Daisy, whatever. Both at the same time. Come on, stage. This is one of those stages where it's like, now you know my hasty, hasty playstyle. It's like, oh, go. Like I can move. I'm moving so much faster than you. Look at that. Okay, so let's grab this flower. And there we go. It feels like there should be something down here, but there isn't, and that makes me disappointed. I feel like there is, though. Maybe I'm thinking of other stages, though. I see you! You and your star baby gifts. Hopefully we'll get some more later. If not, we might be able to uh, cheese it a little bit. There, there's more. You could also jump into the clouds and just kind of collect all the star babies at once slash coins if you wanted to. So, something that I can explain now, I suppose, is uh, every time you get 100 coins in a level... Not 100 coins, I should say. 100 points, and you, then you get 100 points throughout all the entire stages throughout one world, you get to unlock a special stage. Now the weird thing about this special stage, it is actually, even though it's, for, it's in the first world, it is the hardest special stage in the game, and I was like, why? It just immediately starts you into F you territory of terribleness. I hate this stage. I don't know if I'll do the special stages, especially that one. We'll see what happens. Just because I, every time I think of special stages, I'm like, all of them are pretty cool, except for this one. Anyways, we're getting way too far ahead of ourselves. Let's scratch instead. So if we get three Marios, we get five level ups. Or not five level ups. <laughs> five ups. And yeah, five level ups, which Yoshi is going to learn next, Fairaga. Maybe. Well, at least we're guaranteed one level up. Oh no, which one should we pick? We, we randomly picked right by mashing the D-pad around in a circle. Two lives. There's actually a way to get 9.99 lives and then gamble it all away in one of the games, which I find absolutely hilarious. We got time for one more. Let's do Shy Guys on Stilts. I like Shy Guys on Stilts. Shy Guys on Stilts. So we get to see these guys in Paper Mario when you're fighting General Guy, which I found pretty cool. So like, that thing's from Yoshi's Island. I know you. I know that thing. I know that funny thing that happened. Yeah. Okay, so let's make sure we're all loaded up on eggs here, because I have a sneaking suspicion. Ooh, yes. Oh, pff. sure. Don't roll into the thing and then break it for me. Stupid shag guy. think you're so cool with your stilts. And something else I found that was kind of weird about this game is that uh, a lot of the mini-bosses are, you know, enlarged monsters, as you've already been able to tell. But uh, there's no big shy guy, and I'm like, why? It's disappointing. Okay, so this is the stage I was kind of um, profiting, I suppose. Being prophetic about? Foretelling about? I don't know. Either way, so this is where... Uh, colored eggs actually do something. So the flashing one I've got next is actually pretty important because it's got a red coin inside. And as for the red one, it's got two star babies inside and the yellow one has a coin inside. I think we already seen the coin in the previous stage, so we don't really need to show that one off, but if I happen to break an egg on something, or break that particular egg on something, I should say, I will let you know and be like, look, there's a coin! But I already showed it off some advanced techniques in the previous stage. Ooh, something's coming out of a pipe somewhere that I can't see. There, now we got a full egg clutch, I suppose. Ooh, look at this, it's floating. You're gonna float back, aren't you? Yep. There we go. Here. So it's more important in this stage to get that uh, extra red, f uh, red coin because that is a coin that's very easy to miss and is actually one of the ones that is like 
Huh, I'm missing a red coin somewhere. I wonder where it could be. And then I totally wasn't paying attention to tutorial phase because I thought it was like an optional thing. Because the other two eggs are optional, being the star baby and the coin. So I'm like, I don't need this. Maybe I can use it in another stage in case I need a coin somewhere. Like, I thought it was one of those things where it just kind of gives you a coin, but no, that's not quite it at all. But, yeah. So, I thought it was like, yeah, there's an extra coin hidden somewhere in the stage, and if you need it, here you go, have a red coin. So, I suppose that would, that would actually be kind of a cool item to have, I think. I don't know. That's just me! It's interesting, you can see perfectly see their shoes in the dark. Yet they can't when they have their little, um, uh, blankets over their heads. What's up here? More shy guys on stilts? Nope. Just red coins, I suppose. But there is more shy guys on stilts, which is, you know, something that everyone needs in their life forever. So, so obviously you can't uh, eat the shy guys whilst they're on stilts. Sadly, but true. Sad yet true. Okay, so we can get rid of these things, and then show off our ultimate super technique by not wasting an egg. And also we can just hang out by this flower as it laughs out coins and star babies for some reason. No, I'm stuck down here. What are we going to do? There we go. That's what we'll do. Okay, so let's ground pound this all the way down, even though we really don't need to, but I want to anyways because flowers. Oh yeah, you can just kind of stay like this forever if you wanted to. Just hanging out. Sitting on the ground. Guess what, tutorial face? I probably already know exactly what you're gonna say. It probably has something to do with ground pounding. Something to do with secrets. And something to do with I don't care. Time to do some digger machines. I hate this morph. This morph is dumb. It's really hard. It's like really weirdly hard to control too. Like, like yeah, I'm, I'm pressing up, but for some reason it's like flipping downwards. It's like, why? What's the point? I don't know. Nobody knows. Either way, but because we already know how to tell the difference between uh, red coins and not red coins, we don't really need to waste our time getting the dumb coins. Oh no, I can't open the door! Oh well, whatever. If you really wanted to, I think you could get another chance, probably? I don't, I don't remember, actually, offhand. Also, I'll need to get rid of you because you're guarding a coin. Get out of here. Get out of here and stop trying to eat in my face. If you happen to get eaten by one of those things as well, uh, they'll trap you for as long as you're, you know, wiggling the control stick and stuff. So it's best to keep calm and just let it, you know, let it release you on its own time. Okay, so let's go back underground, I guess. How are we doing? Oh yeah, items. So, plus 20 gives you extra 20 star babies, all the enemies turn into secret clouds, plus 10 star babies, 10 star babies, and shows what the red coins are. Hooray explanations! Okay, so, bats! We can eat those for eggs as well. And now, this is, I think this is the last little section in this uh, level, I'm pretty sure. So we can use the, that thing to, like, launch ourselves, and now what? We're gonna learn some egg bounce in action here. Yeah. You're gonna have to learn some of those techniques because they're gonna be important for later. Like, level 4 big boss later, but you know. Maybe getting too far ahead of ourselves. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps, maybe. We'll see. There's our last red coin sound. So now we. Oh, you jerk face. Please tell me that there's another access to some star babies here. Don't let me cheese this. Ah, oh. good. Please let this actually be stars. Yes. Let's make sure. Okay, good. Got all five flowers. What was that? I don't even know. I think that was one of those one-up balloons, but pff, who cares? It's as if this game doesn't just throw one ups at you anyway. So, whatever. I suppose we could have just used uh, one of our items if we needed to for stars, but that would have been kind of cheap and lame. Who uses an item on World 1? Nobody. Except terrible people. Eh, uh, it's more flip chance. Yeah, we got Kamek. Okay, let's see if we get Kamek right off the bat again here. 
I was just gonna say, I think that's where he was last time, and it just so happens that's where he still is. Okay, so I'm gonna end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for one of the best stages in the entire game.